Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new edition of the Track Store Backpack. And I've always been a big fan of the quality and heritage vibes of Track's bags. I featured the Bannock backpack on the channel in a couple of different videos. It's one of my favorite, more compact, classically styled EDC and work backpacks. And I was very excited when I saw the store backpack as it seemed to check off so many of the boxes for what I look for out of a versatile EDC slash minimal travel bag. And it also seemed to bring some of the modern touches that you don't always see in heritage style bags. And so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what it's been like to use this over the past couple of weeks. I'll show you how I've loaded it out, walk through all the features, and I'll also talk about how it compares to some of the other similar bags that are currently on the market. Before jumping into the video, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny, and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the overall aesthetic, the look of this bag is definitely right up my alley. It's got a minimal heritage style vibe, very timeless and versatile. There's not a lot of straps or attachment points. So it's something that's gonna work pretty much in any environment that you take it into, whether you're going into an office, walking around the city, traveling, or even going into the outdoors. As far as the materials, the bag feels very solidly built. Like we've seen with many of Trax other bags, it has a rugged wax canvas exterior that feels like it's gonna hold up well over the longer term and also develop a very nice patina. So it's just gonna have a lot of character as it ages, develops scuffs. I really like the way that these bags sort of evolve over time with any of the wax canvas ones that I've had and the fabric always holds up well. You can also re-wax it to add some extra weather resistance, and of course you have the very well-protected and aqua-guarded YKK zippers all throughout. Continuing along the outside of the bag, I was happy to see that you have two external water bottle pockets, one on each side, and these offer a pretty good amount of space. I was able to easily fit the 20 ounce water bottle that I typically have with me. You can see that that slides in and out easily. There is some more elasticity to the compartment, so you could probably squeeze something a little bit thicker into this area, but it's not a huge compartment by any means. I don't think a 32 ounce Nalgene is gonna fit in here, uh, but still nice that you have some flexibility there, and then that that kind of pulls the compartments close to the bag when they're not in use to just maintain a cleaner look. At the top of the bag, you have a nice carrying handle that's made out of a cotton material. Feels really durable, easy to grab. I like how much it comes up. And then it doesn't have a ton of padding, but it's comfortable enough that even when the bag is packed out, you can just kind of hold this next to you. You can also use this to hang the bag up. Everything feels very well reinforced. And then on the front, you have a very clean exterior. You just have the track logo along the front. And an interesting thing with this bag is that it is a Velcro patch. So you actually have the ability to remove that and just not use any logo or customize it with a different patch if you want to. As far as the capacity of the version that I have here comes in at about 25 liters, which is kind of my ideal all-purpose bag size. It's able to hold all the items that I typically need to have with me on a day-to-day -day basis with a little bit of leftover space for longer days without feeling overwhelmingly big as an EDC bag. And I like that even when this is a little bit more packed out, it still manages to maintain a pretty slim profile, making it great for navigating crowded areas, jumping onto public transit, and carrying on to pretty much any domestic or international airline. Taking a look at the harness system, so far the bag has been really comfortable to wear. I like some of the improvements the track has made with this bag. These straps feel more padded than some of the other bags of theirs that we've tested out. They also have a nice breathable mesh on the inside to help prevent moisture from building up. And the straps have a nice width to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders when it's a little bit more packed out. One note on the straps is that there wasn't a sternum strap included with this bag and there's not a ton of webbing along the straps. They're pretty minimal, so it might not be as easy to add a third-party sternum strap. I do believe the track has a few accessories that might pair with this bag and some of their others that have a similar layout. Down near the bottom of the straps, you also have a couple of loops that you can use to clip on additional accessories. And then I really like the way that the system is here at the bottom to adjust the straps. It feels really robust and durable. It's very easy to adjust the straps to where you want them to be and then they kind of just stay in place. You have a strap keeper as well to just kind of maintain a cleaner appearance and then you have some nice metallic D-rings at the bottom which make it very easy to just pull the straps tight when you need to. They can tend to make a little bit of noise if they're bumping into stuff but in general I like the more premium feel that they give the bag. Moving into the back paneling, this has also been really comfortable. I like that Track has added a similar padding to what we saw on the straps as well as that same breathable mesh and some elevation to create this air channel to provide 
some airflow while you're walking around throughout the day. This is definitely different from some of the previous bags that we've looked at from them where it's just kind of a flat wax canvas back which tended to get very sweaty. So this has definitely been much more comfortable to use. Jumping into the organizational options, the bag has a fairly minimal but effective pocket layout. You have one larger quick access pocket near the top. And I really like these zipper pulls that Trek has on their bags. Just makes it very easy to open the compartments up. Could also allow you to lock the zippers if you wanted to. And the opening here is wide enough that you have good visibility into the compartment. And I like that this goes down past the halfway point. So it's a fairly deep compartment that's gonna allow you to store both your items, pouches, toiletries that you might need to grab while you're in transit. And one of the coolest things about this bag is that Track actually has some modular organization here with this pouch that is attached with these carabiners near the top. So it allows you to kind of use this like an admin panel. And this has a couple of slip pockets on the front. You have this mesh area that provides enough volume to hold something like my GoPro. Then I also have a deck of cards. And then you have a well-protected zipper here. Same sort of zipper pull here. Good amount of space here for pouches and other tech accessories. I currently have my laptop charger in here as well as a uh, adapter that's gonna have a couple of different ports when I'm on the go. So pretty simple layout, but a good amount of space. And then one of the coolest things about this is that you can remove it either if you don't wanna use it or uh, if you want to actually pair it with a shoulder strap that's been included with the bag. It actually converts this into a small sling that you can use for walking around when you arrive at your destination instead of packing an additional bag. So really cool accessory that's actually included with the bag. Big value add there. And then now with that pouch out of the way, you can see down to the bottom, I don't really have anything in here just because it'd be kind of hard to get it out with the pouch attached to the bag, but you did have some leftover space where I would probably toss a packable jacket, again, my toiletries, a dop kit. And then on the back of this area, you have some larger slip pockets that have a good mesh that allow you to see into the area to be able to grab whatever you need. These don't have a ton of elasticity, but a good amount of volume. At the moment, what I currently have here is my Apple Magic Mouse. Then next to that, I have a lightning cable with the wall adapter to charge my phone while I'm on the go. And then you also have a lanyard with a carabiner that's gonna be a good spot to attach something like your keys or a multi-tool. The next area that we're gonna be taking a look at is the laptop compartment. This is externally accessible via this vertically oriented zipper on the back. Similar style here to the other zippers we've seen on the bag. So a good aqua guard protection, nice zipper pull to make it very easy to open the compartment up. Because this is externally accessible, it makes it easy to get your device in and out while you're in transit if you're traveling with the bag. And on this 25 liter version of the bag, you can fit up to a 15 six or 16 inch laptop. Currently I have a 13 inch MacBook Air. You can see there's some leftover space here, which would allow for a larger device. If you get the 20 liter version of this bag, I think the largest you can fit is a 13 or 14 inch MacBook. So something to keep in mind, depending on the device that you tend to use, but a good amount of padding here in the compartment, definitely more so than what we saw on the Hoi backpack. So I was glad to see some updates here. The bottom of the compartment isn't necessarily suspended off the bottom of the ground, but there does seem to be a good amount of padding. So even when you place your device in there and you place your bag down, it doesn't feel like your device is making contact with the ground. So it still feels like there's good protection there. And then pulling my device out, now the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. No fleece lining on the inside or anything like that, but it does come up a decent amount. So if you happen to have a thicker device, it should be able to fit in there comfortably. Or if you wanna use a case with your laptop, give you a little bit more protection, but with the padding that's offered here, it still feels like my device is gonna be well protected while I'm on the go. And then moving into the main compartment, this is a clamshell style bag. So it opens fully flat to allow for easy packing and better visibility inside of the bag. First thing I'll call out is the bright kind of orange liner. I'm a big fan of the contrast and visibility that this provides to make it easy to grab whatever you need from inside of the bag. And at 25 liters of space with this simpler layout, you can really pack this out with a ton of stuff. I was able to fit all the pouches and items that I typically carry with me along with some extras just to kind of showcase the capacity of the bag. Even with everything that I have in here, you can see that there's still some leftover space at the top. So I could have squeezed in even a little bit more, an additional sweater, change of clothes. So really love the flexibility that these layouts provide. Diving into what I currently have here at the top, I have my DJI Mavic Mini with its hard shell case. I have my Beat Studio wireless headphones. I have the Alpaca admin pouch with some EDC and tech items. 
I have a packable rain jacket. Then I have a larger tech pouch from TomTuck, which has some of the bulkier tech items that I typically have with me. And then I have the Evergood Civic Access Pouch, the one liter, as well as the two liter. And this is probably more pouches than what I would typically carry with me, but again, just wanted to showcase how much this area could hold. And then with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. Very simple layout here, no compression straps or additional pocket. And with the amount of space that's offered here, I could easily toss in my larger packing cube, a dop kit, an extra pair of shoes, maybe some additional items, and then use this for a longer weekend trip. One last note to call out in this section of the bag is that you have a couple of loops at the top that are meant to pair with the accessory that we saw earlier in the video. If you prefer to have it on the inside of this compartment, you have those carabiners that are included with the pouch and then they clip on to the little loops. So you have some additional organization if you want it in this section of the bag. These loops are also flexible enough to pair with other third-party pouches and clips if you wanna use something like the Tom Bin handy little thing pouch. It's a perfect kind of accessory to attach to this type of thing. And then if you don't wanna use them, they're really small and they just kinda of stay out of the way. And then taking a look at the lid of this main compartment, you have a few additional zippered pockets. First, you have a larger one that has a vertically oriented zipper. This is gonna be pretty good if you want to just access this section of the bag without opening it all the way up. I didn't actually end up placing anything into this pocket because of all the pouches that I was using with the bag, but you can see that it has a pretty good amount of volume. So if I did want to just actually separate one of my pouches out or a couple of them, it had more than enough space to do so. I just kind of keep everything loose. But this is great for either just holding some of the accessories that you don't want floating around or maybe even as an additional packing cube if you want to put a jacket or some socks and underwear in there. I love the flexibility that this provides. And then at the top, you have one more smaller zippered compartment. I'm always a big fan of the placement of this type of pocket as it's almost an additional quick access area, which is actually where I would store items that I'm grabbing often, like my sunglasses, which I currently have here with their case. So it'd also be a good spot for a portable battery, maybe my Apple AirPods, plenty of volume in here, pretty simple layout. So just really like the organization and space provided in this main area and just the layout throughout the rest of the bag. Everything is very well thought out. Track has definitely made some awesome improvements here, particularly around the harness system. And if you're looking for a heritage style minimal travel or EDC bag that's going to be with you for a long time to come. And this is going to be a fantastic option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the Track Store backpack over the past couple of weeks. You can currently purchase this on the company's site for about $450 for the version that I featured in this video, which is definitely an investment. It's premium pricing as far as EDC and travel bags go, but you are getting a really well-built bag that uses premium materials and it's going to be with you for a long time to come and it's also gonna compare well to other similar bags in this price range. And so as I was testing this out, the first bag this made me think of is the Track Bannock backpack, which like this one has you know, a pretty classic heritage style vibe. That one's more of a rucksack style bag. It's a top loader. It's got some really interesting buckles on the front that just feel really durable. I'm a big fan of top loader bags just due to their simplicity and their reliability. The Bannock backpack is gonna be a little bit smaller than this one, but it can still punch above its weight as far as what it can hold because of its simpler layout. It's got a good laptop compartment, a nice organizational layout, external water bottle pockets, and if you're looking for something with this type of a vibe and build quality that's gonna be a little bit smaller or with a different aesthetic, then that's gonna be a fantastic option to consider. The next bag this made me think of is the GORUCK GR2, particularly the Heritage Editions that we've looked at on the channel recently. Those are also premium price bags that offer just a fantastic build quality. I'm a big fan of the wax canvas that GORUCK has used on their bags. It just gives them a really cool, timeless aesthetic with you know GORUCK's classic clamshell style layout. The bags are comfortable to wear. They feel like they're gonna be with you for many years to come. The, the GR1 and the GR2 come in a heritage style edition. The GR2 in particular has become just one of my favorite minimal travel bags because the 26 liter edition like this one can be used as a daily carry, but then it can also hold an impressive amount. The GR2 is one of the rare bags that has a dual clamshell layout, so it has two kind of main compartments that can help it hold a ton of stuff. It's got a lot of organization, quick access pocket. The laptop protection on that is, you know, fantastic with the false bottom. And, you know, the harness systems on those are meant to hold really heavy weights. So if you're looking for something that's going to be you know, with you for many years to come, that's gonna give you maybe a little bit more organization and space and still offer that heritage style look, then the GR2 is gonna be a great option to take a look at. 
And then the last option that I'll mention here is the Evergood CTB26, which has quickly become one of my favorite bags of all time. I've talked about it on the channel a bunch over the past couple of months, and that's just because it just offers kind of all the features that I look for out of an ideal minimal carry uh, and travel bag at 26 liters. It can work for just your day to day. It's a little bit on the big and bulkier side. It can feel a little bulkier than this in my opinion, but you know, you can just use it for walking around. You can carry it onto pretty much any domestic or international airline. It's got a clamshell style layout, dual external water bottle pockets that are super useful, luggage pass through a comfortable harness system, great laptop protection, and the organizational layout is one of the best that I've had a chance to use. So, you know, just a fantastic bag. It also comes in at a slightly lower price point than this. So if you're looking for one of the, you know, most versatile bags you could possibly get, that's gonna be high quality. It's gonna have a little bit more of a modern look, but still a pretty minimal vibe. And that's gonna be one of the best options that you can take a look at. With that being said, the Track Store backpack holds up really well against all those options. And if you're looking for a durable and comfortable minimal travel bag that can be used for everyday carry, and that's gonna give you a really kind of timeless heritage style vibe and it's going to be a fantastic option to consider and i'm definitely curious to hear what you all think of the store backpack and how it compares to some of the other popular edc and minimal travel bags that are currently on the market and if there's any similar options that you think that i should check out as always please let me know in the comments and i want to thank the company for sending the bag for me to test out and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel if you enjoyed this video please give us a like and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one